I'm Greg Poljasic, stuntman scientist. We're going to be talking about practical stage effects. Blood, guts, gore, things you can make at home with ingredients you can buy at any grocery store. These effects are perfect for your cosplay, zombie movie, vampire movie, or theatrical production that needs special effects. So let's go inside and talk about how to use the blood we've put together. This is John. Hello. This is Jack, my assistants. We're going to be making blood, guts, and gore, making ballistics gel, GAC, and Ublek. We have our ingredients for the ballistic gel. This is really simple. What these are, these are just little dog treats. These are really easy. These can simulate bones, right? That's the fun thing about going to a grocery store. Anything that you see that it can stand out, you can use it as different body parts. What else do you think of that we can put into this to make it look gross? What other food product do you think we could put into it? Pasta for like intestines. Yeah. Yeah, you could put pasta in there. What else do you think? Like the blood that we were using earlier. Yeah, you could put blood in there. You could pack blood in there. Those are both great ideas. You use hamburger meat. You can put that in there. It looks extra gross. You can have macaroni pasta. You put that stuff in there and it looks like a little vein sticking out. Anything you can think of that you normally eat, you can put into this and it'll make it look gross. But to start, we're just going to have these little rawhide things to put in for bones and we're going to use gelatin, just regular non-sweetened gelatin. It's not very good on its own, it tastes pretty bad, so I don't recommend putting this directly in your mouth and your final product, unless you put sugar in it, isn't going to taste very good. Now could you use regular jello in it? You could use a regular jello, but what does regular jello do when you're done making it? It's a wobbling. Yeah, it it's very bouncy. It stick. Yeah, it doesn't stick, it's very bouncy, so it's a different type of gelatin, it's a jello product but it's not as thick and it's not as, uh, as consistent as what this will end up being. So we're going to use water. We have these little bags of gelatin. Why don't you guys take these two, rip them open, and put them into this bowl. We'll put our dog treats in last. Good, there you go. Always rip and open your powder uh, ingredients over the bowl it's going to be in because sometimes you rip the powder ingredients, the powder is going to go everywhere in different places. So this keeps it as clean as possible and keeps it contained. So we did four packets. We'll actually put one more and we'll put five packets. These are about one ounce packets here. What's cool about gelatin is it absorbs more than its body weight of water. It's about eight times it uh, absorbs that much water. So. We have that ounces, we have about five ounces. We can use about half a cup of water. I filled up more just so I have extra in case I need it. Now I have my little powder here. And what I want to do is I want to slowly add water as I stir. So Jack, can you grab one of those spoons there? Thank you. All right, so your job is I'm going to pour this slowly and I want you to slowly stir a little bit, okay? So stir as I'm pouring it in there. So we see how it's starting to turn a little bit clear and clumping up. That's what we want to see. That means it's absorbing it and it's taking it. We want to get all on those little dry grains and to get that absorbed up and it's nasty, soupy looking stuff. So again, pour a little bit at a time. Start with less water first, then stir and see where it's at. And I'm going to use you. You're going to stick your hands in there. If there's any thickness to it, we want to squeeze it out. So go ahead and put your hand in there. Squeeze out any of the bumps. And squeeze it out and stir it up. Good, yeah, look how gross that is. Already gross. You can just use that. If you just wanted to use just the ballistics gel as a gross thing in itself, you can use that. It's plenty nasty. And could right? you like color it to make it look like something? Absolutely. Like Why don't we guts? do that right now? Why don't you throw some colors in there? Now, if you're throwing in regular colors, you're going to use a spoon to mix it. So wait until John's done so mixing with his hands so we can put the colors in. Because now you're just using regular dye. And the dye is going to stain your skin until it's mixed in with the gelatin. Then it's a little bit more moldable. So we want to make sure he's got all the clumps out and then we can add our colors and that's going to keep our fingers and our hands from getting stained too much. That looks plenty good. Good. Nice job. All right. Take your hands over to the sink. Rinse those off real quick. And then you can start adding different colors. Whatever color you want to add to it. Okay. So what do you think? What kind of organ do you think we might make with this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like a... Uh like lungs or something like that? A lung? Okay. Maybe if it's a lung. So we'll say we're going to make a lung. So if it's a lung, we want something that's a little bit pinkish, right? Because lungs are a nice pink color if you take care of your lungs. We have a nice little pinkish color forming here. So as soon as we mix this together, we're going to let it sit and then it's going to mold up and turn into a nice foam thing that we can put into a mold later. It's going to bloom is what it's called. So that's when the water starts to evaporate a little bit and the gelatin foams together and it makes this nice little cushy substance. It's going to look a little bit brighter, 
but then once it's fully done, that color is going to be a little bit pinker, right? So sometimes this is going to be a little bit of experimentation and play with your colors. Color is always the hardest part of any special effect, right? So that's the start. That's as simple as it is. Put the gelatin in, you put water in, you mix it up to make sure it's smooth, has a consistency, and then you add your color. The next step is this has to go in the refrigerator for one hour. Then after an hour, you take it out, and then we're going to double boil it. Yeah? You happy with that color? Yeah. How'd that feel? Did it feel good? Yeah. yeah. Sticky. Yeah, sticky. Good. Felt nice. Felt gross. All right. I'm happy with this. Let's put this in the refrigerator for an hour.